Hey up everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight's video is going to be my first retro season review. It's where I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to review a club season from the past. And tonight I've chosen the North Sydney Bears from 996. I'm going to be doing a review of that year in the club's history. Before I get into the video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I'm currently at 367 subscribers. My goal is to get to 350 by the end of November. And I've pretty much aced that. I'm getting close to 400 now. And I think that's a massive achievement, like, because for someone like me that, you know, I'm not like Clarkies, NRL, Column, and some of these other people. I don't have connections. I don't know uh, current or former players. I don't have support from the big YouTube rugby league channels. I don't get paid to do this. I don't have the equipment. All I have is just a cheap iPhone and... I've got the 367 subscribers, so I think that's a, a massive achievement just to get that far. So hopefully I can get to 400, and thank, thank you to everyone that's supported my channel from the start, and uh, thank you to everyone that's just recently joined my channel as well. Now getting into the 1996 North Sydney Bears season, the, the year before they come 8th, and they were knocked out in the first week by Newcastle, and by memory I remember they kind of limped into that final series, they had a few injuries, and uh, the, we kind of no match for Newcastle that were on a bit of a roll that year. But in 1996, in the off-season, they recruited Michael Butner from Parramatta, Brett Dallas from Canterbury, uh, Ben Aiken from the Gold Coast, Steve Trindle from Canberra, and they also recruited Dallas Weston from Parramatta. Now, they, they finished the regular season in third place that year. They played 22 games, 15 wins, 2 draws, 5 losses, Finished with a total of 32 points. Uh, points differential of plus 273. Jason Taylor finished as the club's top point scorer. And he was also the competition's top point scorer with 238. Ben Aiken was the top try scorer with 15 tries. And Jason Taylor actually finished as a Rothmans medal winner that year. Which was kind of like... Um, in the in the old days, kind of like the Dally M medal, it was given to the the competition's best player that year. So Jason Taylor had a massive season. Now the, the start off the year, they won their first three matches. They beat the Gold Coast forty two points to twenty six in round one. South Sydney thirty two points to sixteen round two, and then they beat their arch rivals Manly in front of twenty one thousand at North Sydney Oval twenty points to ten. They then lost to Auckland, but then they they went on a bit of a nuller winning streak and they won seven of their first eight matches at the start of the year so a really good start of the year for Nars and then between round 10 and round 22 they only lost two games in that whole in that whole time period to finish the year and the two losses that they had they lost against Western Suburbs by one point which um, if you go on Fox League or the, whenever they show the retro games it's the game where I think it was Andrew Willis kicked a 50-yard 50, 50 field goal or something like that to win the game for West. And then they also lost against Eastern Suburbs by five points. So they, they weren't big losses when they did lose. Now, uh, before the final season started, five times they had scored more than 40 points throughout the year. Their biggest win of the year came in round six up at Stockland Stadium in Townsville when they beat North Queensland 50 points to six. Sorry, Nick from Australia for that one once again. Um, and then they went into the final series. Now, week one of the finals, the qualifying final, they were right up against it. They were playing against second place Brisbane up at Lang Park. And they beat them 21 points to 16. And that gave them the week off where they played against St George. Now, going into that preliminary final, North Sydney were expected to meet the grand final against Manly. I think a lot of people had already expected them to make it. And like I've said in a couple of other videos, Parramatta 2001, and in the grand final video, Penrith this year, North Sydney saved their best, uh, uh, sorry, they saved their worst performance to last. And uh, unfortunately, they lost to St George that day, 29 points to 12. And I, I remember watching that game and Anthony Mundine had one of the games of his life and some of the other St George players did as well uh, so they ended up making the grand final against Manly and Manly easily accounted for them the, the following week and it's such a shame because I, I would have loved to see North Sydney and Manly in a grand final can you imagine that um, now some of the other contributors to the, the club that year 
they had a few try scorers. Not, not only did they have Ben Aiken with 15, but they also had Brett Dallas with 14 tries in his first year with Norse. They had Chris Karawane, he got 12 tries. Michael Butner got 13 tries. David Fairley and Greg Florimo both got nine tries each. So plenty of plenty of attacking players in the squad, plenty of uh, good try scorers. Um, I've seen some interviews with, with some of the former players. And even though when you think back to North Sydney as a club, you'd go, oh yeah, 1994, they, they were a good side. And that was the year for them. That was when they, they could have really won it. I've, I've seen interviews with Greg Florimo, uh, Soden, Lawson, Billy Moore, players like that, and they all said 1996 was their year. A lot of the players have all unanimously, unanimously come out and said 1996 was their year. They believed that that was the year they were going to win it. Um, I think I remember hearing Billy Moore say, we just didn't sort of show any respect to St George in that preliminary final like we should have. We kind of went into the game thinking, you know, we're, we're going to make it quite easy and we got a, we got our pants pulled down so um, I, I remember watching North Sydney in 1996 I think I would have been 9 year old at the time um, they were a really good side to watch and um, that's been a review of them tonight for their 1996 season they got really close but just fell short at the second last table anyways everyone I hope you enjoyed that review uh, if you did give it a like let me know in the comment section below which retro review you'd like me to do next. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I'm up to 367 subscribers, looking to get to 400 by the end of the year or maybe by the end of November. Who knows? Anyways, everyone, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, tatty bye.